about 100 young creatives from all over the Western Cape. It's taking place in the city of Cape Town and they'll be here for five days. During that period, we're going to explain to them something about the creative industries, about what the creative industries has as potential for them as wage earners, interested in creating a sustainable livelihood through their art. We're looking at the visual arts, performing arts, which includes theatre and dance, the music industry, we're looking at the film industry, and we're hoping that these young creatives will be able to learn something about seeking a career through their creative discipline. The Department of Arts and Culture put together a conference and we found between the Department of Cultural Arts and Sport and our department, which is of course the Department of Economic Development and Tourism, that we were getting a lot of the same requests, particularly from people who didn't live in the City Bowl. So we decided to combine our, our forces to have a conference that would speak to people who didn't reside in Cape Town and couldn't get access to information as easily as the creatives that do live in Cape Town. It is essentially allowing five young creatives from the Western Cape the opportunity to travel to the UK. And it's people from historically disadvantaged backgrounds. So it's people who would never get this opportunity ordinarily. Of course, we couldn't just provide that opportunity for just five people. So we've made plans for all of the people that have entered the competition. So everybody, even though you may not win the top five, you will get an opportunity. And the first of these opportunities were for those from the region, this conference now. Pokwe bandwana bogo kula. Pokwe pokwe balala ngwe po. Pokwe pokwe. There's five very exciting days that lie before us. We wanted to make this a conference with a difference. This is going to be a working conference and a practical conference and a conference where we're going to be taking you to see exciting venues in the creative industries. And we're also going to be doing exciting things with you and you're going to be doing exciting things with each other, like your own performances and expressing yourselves, your ideas through your own work, through your visual arts and through your dance. <laughs> The success of this conference lies with each one of you. This is a conference where you take your own lives and your own futures as cultural workers and as performers and as artists into your own hands. And by Friday, you would have reaped the benefit for yourself. So, um, so yeah, what, what I'd like to do, just we're not, as I said, we're not going to do anything major, but because we like to make noise, I think we should just, just make a little bit of noise, yeah? Okay. My role here is I'm a facilitator, um, working with the British Council and the rest of the creative industries participants, and I'm here to kind of help them out. You know, I'm here to to mentor them, and and really like the word facilitator is the is the clearest way of saying it because I'm not here to teach them music. I'm not here to teach them anything. I mean, I hope that I can give some of my skills and I hope I, they can give me some of their skills but my main thing is that I'm here just to just to help them gain a little bit more confidence in being an artist and actually you know getting out there and breaking into an industry the young people here I just find them really energetic you know all, all of them seem positive seem energetic confident and I think, to be honest, the only thing that's really holding them back is their circumstance, you know? It's like where they come from, um, the places that they live, uh, the access that they have to the internet and new technologies, um, and money in general, you know? I think, I think those, are the, those are the barriers to them, so, yeah. The groups are divided according to their sectors or disciplines if you like. Performance artists subdivided into dancers and people who are doing drama and, and performance music. This is the visual arts group, which is uh, basically all the visual artists that we have, the painters, the crafters, the sculptors, the cartoonists. So this session right now is a session for you know, so artists to think about what their art and they as artists, what their role is in society.
Okay, just in the room behind me, we've got the music group, which uh, myself and Ty are running, and um, it's a whole big group of loud people. And basically, yeah, they're, at the moment they're working on a song for their performance, um, but we're also going to be really looking right into the whole issue of marketing yourself, how you can sell yourself to people in a very, very short period of time. Okay. When everyone got together, they didn't know each other, as you rightly pointed out, they're from different backgrounds. When they get together like this, in a forum like this, where they play games together, uh, where they interact with each other, those boundaries come down, you know? People forget that we are from wherever, and now it becomes about the art form and what we have in common. One of the stakeholders who actually played a pivotal role in putting this whole conference together for the week. We just um, found it necessitates an interaction, you know, not only between youth and at local level, but also for them to interact because the challenges I think that face youth today is not synonymous or unique to South Africa. It faces youth across the globe. It gives youth an opportunity to express themselves, to say what it is that, you know, hinders their progress to say what the challenges are out there, and for us as government to be able to listen. Yesterday was the official opening of the conference itself. Today we started with the funding proposals and, and policies from the Department of Cultural Affairs and Sport. And that part of the discussion energized quite a number of people because I think where the policy is and where the department is and where the young artists are, are two separate and different places. And there needs to be further dialogue between the policy and the people who actually um, are supposed to benefit from those policies and, and practice. At the moment, that's not happening. The question remains, how is the department going to begin to interact with the young people who don't really have access to any of the, um, the funding and even access to some of the spaces in and around Cape Town and the Western Cape where they can perform their work. The Community Arts Project is this place where we're standing now, where many a play and many a, a visual arts work was produced. And so we find ourselves here on the fourth day of the conference, and we thought that it would be appropriate to bring these 100 young people from all over the province to this particular venue to experience and to participate in the fourth day of the conference. We want you to work together today to try and produce an element, a product, a work, a performance that we want to see you showcase at the end of today and tomorrow. Everybody clap. Pokwe pokwe banana bogo kula. 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 Pokwe pokw
Together we stand.